Hi, I'm Ben Jeffries, Territory Manager for Invitro Technologies. Today we're going to talk about the new Buki units, Rotary Evaporator Electronic R300, Vacuum Pump V300 and I300 Pro Digital Touchscreen Control Interface. Here we have the Buki V300 Vacuum Pump. It is a two-stage, two-head, Teflon line diaphragm vacuum pump, so oil free. Buki have designed the inlet and the outlet in close proximity on the left hand side. They've also redesigned the way that the Wolf bottle is integrated onto the pump by easy slide on, sitting down here just in front of the pump inlet. Slides in and connects as such. Buki have also fitted a redesigned silencer, which is nicely fitted on the left hand side, and also an integrated gas ballast to eliminate any condensate which could build up on the pump heads. Should that happen in future, simply disconnect your inlet and your outlet, let the pump run and it will air out any condensation that may build up. The pump will be fine. Also on the left hand side is another groove here to fit a secondary condenser. This can be either a vertical insulated condenser or it could be a cold trap condenser fitted with a 500ml plastic coated glass receiving flask. Buki have designed this to keep everything nice and compact to minimise the footprint on your lab bench. Here we have the Buki i300 Pro touchscreen digital interface from Buki. Currently this is situated on top of the Buki V300 vacuum pump, however it can also be mounted on top of the R300 rotary evaporator. It's a very simple, very nicely designed control interface, very easy to see. When it is not operating we have a white background, when it is operating we have a black background. So immediately from across the lab you can see if the pump is activating or if it is not. Because it is touchscreen, we can select a range of different menus at the top. Here we have our home screen, which controls everything and we can see everything up front. We have a favourites menu, in this case we have a leak test. For solvents or for programs that were run routinely, these will come up on the screen here. We can simply touch them and it goes through to that particular test. Our notepad at the top here comes into our different operation modes. Manual if we just want to set a vacuum and achieve a certain vacuum. We can go to timer if we want to run that vacuum for a set time. Pump continuously, if you just want to dry off, if you just want maximum pumping ability, on the V300 it is 5 millibar plus or minus 2, it will run and it will simply dry your product. Autodest is a new feature from Buki which integrates sensors on the incoming and outgoing cooling water connected to your vertical condenser. It also connects to your heating bath. When Autodest is activated, it calculates the temperature difference between the ingoing and outgoing cooling lines as well as the bath temperature so that you can start immediately your distillation rather than waiting for cooling temperatures to decrease and your bath to heat. This saves time in the lab and gets your distillation done ahead of time. There is a new drying function on the Buki i300 Pro system as well. This is particularly good for powders, for example pharmaceutical products. When you're using a baffled flask, you do get product build up on the inside of your evaporation flask. Using the, the drying function on the Buki i300 Pro, it alternates the rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise at set intervals here. In this instance, we have 10 seconds. We can change that as much as we want. So for 50, I've put here, for example, and we hit save. That loads in here. We can also run it under a timer function as well. So if we have an estimate of how long our product is going to take to dry, in this instance we're going to run it for 10 minutes uh, and at 50 second intervals it will change rotation from clockwise to anti-clockwise. A fantastic function for eliminating any additional moisture which may be built up in your product. The final table that we have on our screen here is methods. Here lists the number of methods that we have in our Buki i300 Pro controller. We can remove, we can add a new method, or we can edit previously restored methods on the system. If we're to go new, it comes up, we can enter our method name. If we click on here, we can dial in and we can name it. So there is a Quartz keypad on here. We can dial it by simply as a batch number if you're working in a pharmaceutical or nutraceutical industry or food and feed, or we can also give it particular names according to the sample reference. Once we have put our method in, for example, let's put BEN because that's my name, we hit save and it will save that as Ben. We then scroll down to the number of steps. How are we going to do this? We click on here and we can edit one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. on how many steps. For example, we want three, hit save. We can also use the touch screen. So we can touch in here and use our turn knob to the number of steps that we desire. 
Step one, we can start with our function. What are we doing? Is it a gradient? Is it a pause step? Is it simply just a drawing step? We want to select a gradient and we want to hit save. The gradient then opens up a new menu. Vacuum start. Where are we starting our distillation? Where are we going to on, our, on this particular step? How long are we doing this over? What rotation do we want on our R300? What is our heating bath temperature and our chiller temperature? This allows us to control all of these different items that are built into the Buki R300 or V300, I300 package. It is fantastic control over your entire system. So no longer do you need to reach under the bench for your chiller, reach to your water bath. Everything is controlled through the Buki I300 Pro interface. Once we have set all of our parameters in here, we hit save and we can go to the next step. So we can save step and it comes back to the start. Continue this for the rest of the steps that you need and on step four we can simply have that as finish. Save step, save method, it comes back to the start. When we go to run we can either select with touch screen or we can use our rotary knob to select which one. When we're here we hit start. You can see that the screen automatically goes black so from afar we can see that the pump is running, the distillation has begun. It is a very good indication that your machine is running. When we hit stop it comes back to white and we can aerate the system if we need to or we do have an inbuilt function where we can do that automatically. The next icon on the sub menu at the top here is the settings or cog icon and here we can see maintenance, settings for the system, our service functions by our engineers or some system information. If we start with maintenance at the top here we get a very nice new feature from Buki. This is a leak test so we can test the tightness of our system. If we select by touching our current vacuum is set at 1006 millibar or your atmospheric pressure. The leak test has a locked in set millibar pressure of 50 so we can hit start and this now activates to extract some air and then it will run a leak test. Now the V300 pump has a pumping capacity of 1.8 cubic meters per hour. It's a very tight pump, it's very very good. will cut out very shortly. Okay, so 30 seconds just to stabilize, then it runs another 30 second leak test where it will measure how much pressure is released over 30 seconds. It does give us a set interval of five millibar per minute, so we will see what happens. We've quickly set this system up this morning, so it may pass, it may fail, but this will give us a good indication of how we went. So it's now starting our leak test, it runs for 30 seconds. Now just at the top left here underneath the Buki symbol is our timer and our countdown. So a couple of seconds left, two, one, okay, so we measured a 2.2 millibar per minute leak and our recommended is less than five, so our system's nice and tight, we can move on. If we go to our settings, we've got a mobile connection QR code. Now this is also a very nice new feature run by Buki. If we connect into here, it gives us a 2D barcode, which we can scan via a new free app, which is downloadable by the App Store, either on your smartphone, it will run on Android, it will also run on iPhone or smart device. We can scan that, it brings that in there. That allows us to monitor whereabouts our system is up to. This uploads to the Buki Cloud, so as long as we're connected to our Rotovapor app, we can be out getting a coffee, we can be at lunch, we can be writing our paper, we can be talking to reps who would like to introduce you to the new Buki, new Buki systems. Uh, but it allows us to monitor whereabouts our distillation is up to. Once our distillation has finished, it will give us a push notification so that we can then go and we can take off our product. We also give a lot of automation functions here. So using the Buki i300 Pro, we can start and we can stop our rotation once we begin the program using the interface. We can immerse or we can lift the flask once the distillation is start or stopped. We can also put an automatic aeration of the system once the system is finished. 
So the new bookie systems have de designed everything to be automatic for you or to do your job so you can focus on more important tasks like researching or writing papers. We can scroll through using our turn knob here. Also I have an option here to stop heating for the water bath. We can stop the cooling of our chiller. We can play a sound so it gives us an audible notification that the system is finished. We can set our pressure hysteresis. In this case we have zero millibar. We can record data automatically to our built-in SD card for recording or for data download. We have a key sound we can turn on or off. We can change a lot of system settings such as temperature, uh, what our pressure unit is going to be, millibar, tor, hectopascals. Uh, there's a lot of nice functions that Buki have included here. Finally, Buki have also put in their solvent library again. They've updated it so it is a lot easier to use. It is very user friendly. We have 43 built-in common solvents. If there is a solvent in here that is not listed, get in touch with us. We can get in touch with Buki. We can find out for you what your automatic settings can be. We can do this according to our set chiller temperature. Here it is 10 degrees and it also factoring in if we hit save. We can also key in the temperature of our water bath as well. So on a setting of 50 at our water bath and our chiller temperature at 10 degrees, for example, if we were to select acetone, we hit OK, it gives us an approximate distillation pressure of 397 millibar. We can start or we can go back. If we want to edit, we can change it to something of our own if we want to. If we found that we run acetone on our specific volume and it comes in at about 380, we can either change with our rotation or we can change using our touchscreen control here. And we hit save, then we can hit start. Again, it goes to black to show you that we're operating. We hit stop and we can aerate. If we have our own specific solvents that we're running, we can key them in here. By hitting new, we can name it and we can set what that pressure is according to our boiling point of our solvent. There's also a nice feature called wear parts, which will give us the Buki codes for our spare parts in our system. Our vacuum seal, which sits in with our condenser. It's a 26 millimeter seal made of Teflon and a rubber compound. Our code here is 048021. This way we can ring up our Buki representative and say, I would like a replacement of this. This is my code here. We also have a new code for our hose connections, our GL14, which connect to our water tubing, also our vacuum tubing, uh, as well as our swivel nuts, our membranes, and our valve set for our V300 pump. That's our i300 Pro. Thanks for watching. Using the Buki i300 Pro touchscreen interface, it is also possible to mount it on the front of the electronic R300 rotary evaporator. You will notice there is a few additional parameters on here. We can set the rotation or the RPM for the drying flask. We can set the heating bath temperature. And this will also relate to what is being shown on the display down on the heating bath here. Our actual temperature at the moment is 31 degrees. It is set at 50. If we had to change that using either the touch screen or the turn knob, we can set it from this thing to 66 that will automatically communicate down to the heating bath. Vice versa, if we're to change it on the heating bath, it changes up the top here as well. We hit start when we're ready to go. For RPM of your evaporation flask, Boogie have a maximum of 280 RPM. They've always had it this way on the R300, the R210s, the R200 series, as well as the 114s, 144s, etc, etc. Buki have stuck with 280 RPM. If we go into our programming method and we look at dry, so we're going back to the pharmacy lab, we're going back to a powder or back to somewhere where we have moisture in our sample, we need to get rid of it. You will see we have our set parameters again. We can adjust our vacuum, we can adjust our rotation, our rotation interval, as well as our heating bath temperature is new, as well as our lift. We can set a lift for a raising or lowering height of our bath. For this example, I've raised it just slightly out of the bath so we can have a look at the anti-clockwise and the clockwise directional change. We can set our interval either for five seconds or as long as you would like it. For this example, I'll set it at five so it's easy to see. I've set the vacuum at 650 millibar so the pump can pull down very quickly for you uh, to try and keep this demonstration short. We hit save, I hit start. Immediately you see that the screen goes black so we know that it is operating. For this example we have the timer set at 10 minutes. We won't go that long, it's just to demonstrate the, the turning of the flask. Here we can see it rotates, now it's coming back. 
it will count down from five seconds and we can see that it rotates here as well. It changes again. It changes again. So if you're using a powdery sample or something where you really need to get that moisture out, I highly recommend using a baffled evaporation flask over just a straight pear-shaped or Florentine flask because it is going to let that sample bounce around a little bit more and extract out that extra moisture. We hit stop when we're finished and then we're ready to go. Once our distillation is finished, because we have the electronic version of the Buki Rotovapor R300, we're using the handle here and we simply pull back and the electronic lift takes it up nicely for us. We can hit stop on the rotation and we're finished. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for looking at the Buki Rotovapor R300, the i300 Pro digital touchscreen interface and the V300 pump. If you have any questions, please contact Invitro at www.invitro.com.au or contact us on our free call 1300 552 003.